What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Seth the Line Surgeon. And um, out here in Louisville, Kentucky at the Equip Expo, and you already know what time it is. But before we get to that, I'm doing a little dual uh, video. I'm vlogging and I'm gonna drop a tipsy talk in the middle of the vlog. So, to get y'all caught up, we gotta rewind. So, I'm trying to make it do the little rewind thing where it, whatever. <laughs> okay, I was like, where's the CV? <laughs> there we go. Okay, we got a TV. Nothing fancy. But at least we got somewhere to stay. Loft up here. We got this thing freezing in here. I gotta adjust that temperature. That's pretty cool. It's gonna be pretty short. That's all I need. Alright, guys. Just arrived to Louisville. You can see I got my little loft place. It's like one of those buildings where they took like the a old building, industrial building, and they renovated it to a long law. It was like an Airbnb. They don't got much furniture in here, but uh, I don't need that. I'm not gonna be here much. Um, but I always like getting Airbnbs when I come to the Equip Expo in Louisville, because you gotta get a kitchen. So, um, I'm about to head to uh, Wally World and get me some um, supplies. I always like to get me maybe some breakfast supplies and some stuff to make some sandwiches just so I don't spend as much money while I'm out here. Yes, sir. So, change of plans. Right now I'm about to go meet with Jobber. They want to do a video shoot or something. Um, it is mad cold here, bro. I'm gonna have to get me a scarf. I don't even wear scarves, but I'm gonna have to get me a scarf or something. <laughs> Some earmuffs. Jeez, now when it's as cold as cold and windy. I don't even think. Let me see what the temperature. This can't be. finished the uh, video shoot with a uh, jobber uh, now I'm about to head over to Merle's whiskey kitchen for, uh, for Mitchell's event um, I guess some footage of that yes sir to the uh, GI, I keep saying GIE, they changed it to um, the Equip Expo, 
<laughs> but um still haven't got to go to Walmart had to walk to the gas station give me some water and some other s snacks and stuff but um, I'm gonna get there I think I'm gonna go go to the expo hang out for a while look at all the stuff then I'm gonna head on to the uh, uh, Walmart or something because I gotta get a belt I always forget a belt for some reason but uh, yeah I gotta get a belt some some other stuff and then um, I'm gonna come home take a break then we'll go out to 4th Street Live <laughs> people um as y'all saw from the vlog the last thing y'all saw i was heading to the uh, equip expo um i plan to saw a lot of people i plan to stop at walmart i've been talking about walmart ever since i got here but i just haven't felt like doing it bro like like that's what i'm gonna talk about like louisville Louisville, I, I'm curious about Louisville, the, 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 the inner city part of Louisville, it, it has a mixture of a lot of history and hood. <laughs> um, for instance, right here, I, today I got some Crown, Crown Apple. I normally don't drink Crown, but So, all right, let me say this, right? Because I don't want people to all you call it Louisville hood. Every city has, oh, hold up, let me fix this. Every city has their hoods. Richmond has their own hoods, right? Uh, 
And where I grew up, people know my background. Like I always like to do, before I start talking about something, I like to give a background on it. People know me. I didn't grow up in the city. I grew up in the county. But both of my grandparents lived in hood areas. So me as a kid, I grew up um, going over their houses, playing with the other kids. And I'm a kid. I didn't know I was in the hood, <laughs> you know. But I grew up and, you know, my friends from the county, I would tell them where my grandparents lived and they'd be like, oh my gosh, you know. And so, um, Richmond, like a lot of the, a lot of people moved out of Richmond and then they started moving back in and uh, ripping out the buildings and, and um, turning them into lofts like this. This is one of the old buildings and they turned this into like a loft. And so that's what they do, but you know, I'm not even gonna critique it. It's almost, I'm, 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 I'm gonna leave it alone. It's livable, it, it could have been done better. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, that's what they do in Richmond. Like any available old building, they are constantly buying it up, renovating it. It's like there's no buildings. They even will build a new building that looks like an old building, just to sort of match. Like I, they, they took one building that was already like a factory, they ripped it out, sold condos for like 300,000, that's on the James River. And then once they realized people bought all those condos up, they built two new buildings beside it. <laughs> they looked just like the first one, old building, but they were new. And they sold those out. So I guess what I was trying to say is like, I've been coming, I've, okay, this is like the sixth time I've come to Louisville. And every time I come to Louisville, I kind of stay in a, lot, a different area. The first two times, I stayed down by the exposition center, and it was kind of like, like, I can't describe it because everybody's not from Richmond, but if I had to describe it, it was kind of like, I stayed in this area that was kind of like, you know how you have an area that's kind of like has old houses? If for, for people in the Richmond area, the best way I could describe it is kind of that, that area over there by the by Union, Virginia Union, or the Children's Hospital, where it's like old houses, but they kind of been kept up over the years, and you know they still relatively have a relative good value, you know, like that type of thing. And so that's how it is outside the Exposition Center. You get you know just as an older neighborhood but the houses are well kept. Then, I started staying in, in, in the town. Last year I stayed in this apartment complex. It was awesome. Had um, uh, it, was, it was awesome, because I was like down the street from 4th Street Live, it don't really have no stores around it, you know, and that's another thing I'm talking about, the stores. Uh, and why I haven't been to Walmart. <laughs> but yeah, it didn't really have no stores around it, but I was four blocks away from 4th Street Live. So this year I tried to do the same thing. I tried to stay downtown in the general vicinity of where I stayed last year. But I, it was it's weird because I'm literally I'll say a 10 minute walk away from where I was and I feel like I'm in a whole nother part of town. <laughs> like when the guy was dropping me off, I'm, I'm like, bro, this is hood. You know what I mean? I'm like, but like, are you sure we're in the right area? 
And so, because I don't, I don't know Louisville, but then as I start to explore and walk around, I realize two streets up is the same street I was standing on the last time, which the, la the street I was standing on the last time is Broadway, which Broadway is like, if I, like I said, if I had to refer to Richmond, it's like Broad Street. It's like a whole bunch of office buildings and, and stuff like that. But the difference is, like I say, in Richmond, on our Broad Street, any, it, it's some abandoned buildings, but any available building, some builder is trying to buy it up and renovate it or whatever, whatever. Here, it's just like a million abandoned buildings. It's, it's, it's buildings that people did knock down like they was about to do something with, and then they just left. <laughs> they didn't clean up the rubble. <laughs> it's, it's a whole bunch of abandoned churches. And, he, and it's not just like any old church. These are nice cathedral churches. You know, like with all that little carvings and stuff on the side. I'm going to drop a clip here that I saw. And um, if y'all see from this clip, uh, I was walking by. And I, this is probably the third church I walked by. I, I walked 25 minutes. I'm, I'm going to get to that. But I walked like 25 minutes back here. And it's like the third abandoned church I saw. It had this other building beside it, and then straight across the street is a big old office building, right? Because it's, it's big office buildings. The office building is bigger than the ones in Richmond. And, and like, so that's like the weird thing. It's like, I can tell, like at one point, Louisville was bigger than Richmond. Even though Richmond is the capital. I don't know if Louisville is the capital of Kentucky. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not, but I think it's Nashville. I don't know, but um, oh, that's Tennessee. I'm tripping. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just all right. So 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 let me get to to why I say it's hood, right? Why I say it's hood. The whole time I've been here, right? Like when I went out last night. To, to Mitchell's thing when I was leaving I was trying to go to a Walmart and I'm searching for Walmarts I can't find no Walmarts near the downtown area so you know they trying to give me Walmarts in Clarksville which is like a, I think it's like a city across the uh, water or something and or, or way down which is like in the opposite direction of where I need to go and I'm like there's no Walmarts there's no Kroger's I had, see, I had forgotten my belt, and so I wanted to go to a Walmart where I could get some little food sandwich making products so I could have that to eat for breakfast or whatever. Um, I could get a belt, and I believe they sell uh, alcohol at their Walmarts, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but hopefully I could have got some. But, um... <laughs> I, uh, it's just like I couldn't find a Walmart. And so I'm searching groceries, can't really find no good grocery stores in this area where I'm at. And I'm just like, bro, forget it. I said, let me just search belts. I literally got into Google and I searched belts near me. Where can I buy a belt? Cause I like, I search Ross, Kmart, you know what I'm saying, anything. I'm like, I need somewhere to get a belt and possibly some food. But it was nothing. So I ended up searching belts and I found this store that was like a suit store. You know, you about to go buy nice clothes, ties, dress shirts. And I bought a, like a $22 belt just so I could have it because I always forget a belt. And coincidentally, like I said, it was right on Broadway and it was couple of blocks down from a liquor store that I went when I stayed at the last place. So I walked over there, got me my crown, and then I checked Google Maps and I was about 26 minutes walking distance back from my place here. So I was like, I was like, let me walk a little ways, see how I feel. And I just ended up walking the whole way. So I, don't, I didn't time myself. I don't think it was 26 minutes. 
Maybe I was walking brisk. It was a nice little walk, but um, like I said, as I'm walking, it just, it got me thinking. I had time to think it. I'm like, like for instance, the liquor store, right? My favorite thing to get is bird dog. And every, all the first times I came to Kentucky, like all the liquor stores had all the flavors of bird dog, even the ones, cause back home, we got some flavors of bird dog, but not all of them. But I'm like, I know where in Kentucky I go, that's where they make it. So, um, they gonna have all the flavors, and they did, but that was the stores that was outside of the city. Stores inside the city don't got it. They just got the regular Crown, Hennessy, Ciroc, all them regular stuff, you know what I mean? And so, and it's kind of like, you got the glass around, you know, the hood, normal hood spot. And then, as I'm walking and seeing all these abandoned buildings, seeing, seeing some homeless people, and I'm like, I see, I, I kinda, I'm kind of starting to see why there's no Walmarts <laughs> or stores in this area, bro. It's, it's almost like, it's like deserted. It's like messed up. It's like the city is not investing money back into the inner city area. Now, it, and, but it's so weird, bro. It's so weird. It's not to say that there aren't buildings that are renovated. Because 4th Street Live is downtown, right? You go to 4th Street Live, right at 4th Street Live in its vicinity, got a whole bunch of really nice hotels. Expensive. You go a couple blocks over, hood. You go another block over, nice hotel. Go two blocks down, hood. <laughs> that, that's the crazy part of it to me. It's like, it's like hood. So it's like, you gotta watch yourself how you maneuver because you might, like I thought, I, 10 minutes away from, or five minutes driving from where I was, but I'm in more of a hooder spot, you know? So, uh, but, like I said, I grew up, my grandparents in hood spots, so uh, hood areas, so, you know, I deal. One thing about maneuvering in like hood spots, I don't like to say I like to go in hood spots because I, I don't go out my way to, but I would say I don't mind being in hood. Um, Cause you know, a lot of people are nervous about being in the hood because they think it's a lot of criminals, but it's just really people, uh, you know, just really people living. And criminals are all, Opportunists, right? Criminals are opportunists. The same way as if you have a your mowing setup, and uh, Keith Kelvin was talking about this. Put your equipment back where it's supposed to go, and you put a uh, your blower on on your tailgate of your truck because you don't feel like putting it on the rack. You're locking it up while you go running we eat this backyard and you come back somebody stole your your blower and that's because somebody drove by and saw that beautiful blower backpack blower sitting on that tailgate and said all i gotta do is stop grab it throw it in my back seat and i got a brand new blower that's the opportunist but if it's on that rack and it lo looks like it's locked they don't know whether it's locked you know what i mean so It doesn't create the opportunity for them to easily steal your stuff. Same thing with like hood areas, right? Like if you're walking around in the area looking like a tourist, like oh, oh this is nice. Blah, blah, blah. I, I'm I'm in this store. I went to get my belt. Walk straight to that store. Walk straight to that store. Walk straight out. And um, always keep your head on the swivel and also speak speak 
and our the number most number one most important thing is make eye contact. You gotta make eye contact because you like say say I'm in a store right and all right uh, and I see somebody I'm like you know what I mean that 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 you see somebody looking at you making eye contact with you and you look away like that creates like nervous that 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 presents you nervous you get what i'm saying and so <clears throat> i walk into a store and i look see somebody look at them i'm looking at them if they don't speak if they speak they speak if they don't but i'm not gonna look away and i'm not looking at them as trying to intimidate them i'm looking at them normal you know what i mean like normal and i and that creates a, a sense of being, like you're supposed to be there. You know what I mean? When you when you looking away, nervous or whatever. If there's somebody that's a criminal, they might be like, say you in that liquor store doing that. They gonna go out the liquor store, and they gonna wait for you to come outside. You know what I mean? So just be um. See, I don't even really like Crown, bro. Tastes like Coca Cola. <laughs> Anywho, um, let me show y'all what I got from the GIE so far. A lot of people always come to GI for goodies and stuff. Um, got me a copy of Paul's book. Got this thing. This thing picks up um, the gravel, can pick up like a whole lot of weight. I think it said 375. 175 pounds. Agrifab. This shirt was pretty cool. They made it right there. They asked me what size I wore, what color I wanted, what color I wanted the writing, and what logo. And they pressed it right there in front of me. Um, Bobcat gave me this little thing. Um, Jobber, Mitchell, um, Brown shirt. And Jobber gave me this. A whole bunch of goodies in it. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's it. I just got back from the expo this Wednesday. So I'm going to chill, finish my little drink, and probably take a nap, and I wake up and go to Fourth Street Live. See y'all there. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. I missed this camera, bro. <laughs> this is my wife's camera. This is a G7X, a Canon. And I had messed mines up, so then that's why I upgraded to a Canon DL. I forget what it is, but it's the big kind with the uh, with the changeable lenses and stuff. But that thing do not adjust to light at night like this G7X, bro. Anywho, I'm off to uh, out here waiting for my Uber. About to go to uh, Fourth Street Live. You guys know? Hoodie, shout out to Dunn Wright. Got on my job hat. Oh my gosh, y'all gotta check this hat out. Look at this. I don't know if it'll focus. 
after nine surgery. Super clean. So um, big shout out to Job. I love this hat. It's so crazy. When I was uh, when I was leaving to come here, I had wore they had sent me another blue hat and I had wore it out. So it was dirty and I didn't want to bring it. As soon as I get here, they hooked me up with another hat. Appreciate it, guys. <laughs> All right, let's get to hit the road. See, I just got back from the um, the rally. It's crazy. <laughs> Let's see where that rally has gone. Grown from what was it, River Something Pizza, with 20 people, and we had hundreds of people there. Three levels at a distillery. Shout out to Naylor, Elsie Almeida, Rookie for Life. Long care rookie, all the uh, acronyms <laughs> for Nailer. Uh, who else was there? Um, uh, Service Autopilot, Skag, Kohler, Toro, um, Jobber, um, Copper and Kings, you know, shout out to all of them. Um, but we back, baby. I gotta pack up all this junk. This is all the stuff I got from the expo. All on that table there. Got a long trip back home, but we back. More videos coming, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Yes, sir.